All right, everyone, we're getting closer. Starfield releases in just a few days, at least for the premium edition owners of the game. And before the release, I wanted to do a video where I talk about the top 10 things I'm most excited for in Starfield. In this top 10 style, I'm actually going to go backwards from 10 to 1, 10 being the least favorite of the list, not saying that it's necessarily my least favorite in the game, but just the list that I put together, 10 to 1, least excited for, to absolute most excited for. But just to reiterate, I'm excited for all of these things, plus much more. My list will consist of cities, factions, crafting and customization, shipbuilding, planet exploration, space exploration, random events, base building, followers and romance options, and combat. Let's get into the video. Number 10. Starting off, I can't wait to visit every city in Starfield. Neon, New Atlantis, Aquila City, and Sidonia. Judging from what was said about a lot of this, they all sound so different and vibrant with these places seemingly having their own personalities. Neon, the party cyberpunk-like city. New Atlantis, a more bustling and populated city with a large amount of NPCs with things to do. Aquila City, the western cowboy-like city that seems to keep you and everyone else on edge. I'm most excited for Aquila City because I can't help but feel that the tone from Star Wars The Mandalorian when I see this. Given that Will Shin and Emil Pagliarulo talked about how the team looked and took influence from a lot of sci-fi type media to create side quests and possibly environments gets me even more excited. And then we have Sidonia, the mining operation that takes place on Mars, and supposedly being the starting point for our characters in Starfield. I'm sure they're all going to be different and unique in their own way, and I can't wait to get started within all of these major cities. Coming in at number 9, I have crafting and customizations in Starfield. From what we could tell within the deep dive, the research mechanics in Starfield seem fresh and intuitive. It's a different design to how you unlock crafting recipes in BGS games, and I'm glad there's going to be a level of grind to it to unlock the things like weapon parts and more. It also seems that Bethesda has put as much effort into the crafting and research for food, armor, or spacesuits as well. I also can't wait to see the abundance of customizations Bethesda will let us have, ranging from outfits, spacesuits, pants, etc. I hope that there is a system that lets you dye your own clothing or suits as well. I think including that in Starfield will increase the longevity of the game and help keep the outfits and weapons we have staying fresh and new. I would also like to point out, while recording this video, Pete Hines did have a Q&A session where he did answer a bunch of questions with a lot of awesome information, but to stay on topic with this crafting and customization, he did say that we could actually loot armor of spacesuits off of dead bodies, which I know it's no surprise, but some of the gameplay that we had seen, it looked like that some of the people that you were looting looked to be random, but Pete Hines has since confirmed this, and I just wanted to include this in the video. Coming in at number 8, I'm excited to see followers inside of Starfield. I can't wait to see who all of these 20 followers will be, what their stories are, and how they will react to the events throughout the game. I hope they have life and emotions to them, and I think that they will. In Fallout 4, Bethesda seemed to play with a system where the followers would react to your decisions as you played the game. I'm expecting a deeper and more in-depth system in Starfield. I'm also curious on how much dialogue that each follower will actually have, because I hope that we don't hear a repeated line from them every time we talk to them. However, that would be a hard thing to really implement, but it's just me being picky. I also can't wait to see all the followers that other players take within Starfield and how they customize them as well, considering you'll be able to give them equipment to wear like previous Bethesda games. Number 7. Random events in Starfield have to be very special. They showed little hints at the deep dive where there was a base on this planet that the player was exploring and then there was a transition where the base was gone. It immediately made me think that random events could be comprised of NPCs building a little base on a deserted planet or even on planets such as Jameson. We obviously don't know for sure, 
but I'm excited to see how crazy they will make the random events, especially during space gameplay. I know Bethesda will have events where you'll be flying through space and you'll be attacked by a group of mercenaries or pirates. Mercenaries wanting to hunt you down for being a terrible person or someone thinking you're too nice, so they hire a group of people to take you out. Then you have the pirates wanting to board your ship and take everything from you. The options are there, and I'm sure Bethesda has put a lot of work into these random events to keep something happening in Starfield nearly all the time, and I'm excited to see how in-depth that they actually go with this. Number six is where I'm going to put the factions of Starfield. Factions are always an important part in Bethesda games. They shape what happens around their games, and they make you, the player, get involved. I can't wait to see how Bethesda creates all these factions in a game with over 1,000 planets, how impactful will they all be? Will they all have connected storylines? There are so many other questions that can be asked, but none of us truly know. The timeline they release gets me even more excited due to the fact that some of these factions have some intense history that could cause tension between them while also pulling in other factions to get them involved as well. Like I said, no one truly knows until we play, and I'm glad we have a little bit of backstory for some of these factions as we head into the game. It gets me even more hyped for it. Number 5. Planet Exploration We're getting into the juicy parts of Starfield now. This is an obvious one, because Bethesda is very well known for their open worlds and exploration in these worlds. But Starfield has an interesting change to it. By change, I mean collecting resources that will go towards your crafting, base building, ship building, and much more. I'm sure of it. If you want certain materials, I'm sure you'll have to go to different planets or even star systems to get exactly what you need. Plus, Pete Hines recently confirmed that you can in fact explore the entirety of planets in Starfield, which means that there will be so much to explore, find, and collect for all the planets. But most of them will more than likely be barren and empty planets, but I'm excited for this either way. And yes, in previous Bethesda games, you can create or craft things with materials that you find in the world, but in Starfield it seems to be way more in depth with so many more options specific to certain places. At number four, I have base building. Base building in Starfield looks so much better than what they did in Fallout 4. The way you can view your base in a top-down view when snapping things together as well as placing objects in first person is a huge step forward for the future of what Bethesda is doing with these features. Honestly, they should have been in the game since Fallout 4, but Fallout 4 walked so Starfield could run with base building. I also love the idea that you can hire people to run these bases for you and that you can build an intricate base and I'm so curious to see how much these bases tie into actual gameplay like crafting or creating materials, research. It almost feels like a more advanced Fallout shelter mechanic inside of Starfield and it's honestly something that you can get lost in for hours, depending on how in-depth that the base building will be in this game, of course. Number three, combat. My oh my, does the combat look stunning in Starfield. It looks so smooth and beautiful for a Bethesda game. You can really tell that they have vastly improved on the combat in Starfield, and it shows that it really helped them during development. Not to mention, the graphics are definitely a huge jump for Bethesda as well. But the melee weapons, different weapon types, the throwables, and the addition of the jetpack looks incredible. There seems to be so many different approaches for all kinds of people depending on how you want to play. I'm even more curious about what the force-like power was in the deep dive when they showed gameplay to us. There are so many questions regarding that and I just can't wait to try it out all of the mixture of realistic looking guns and the NASA punk style that Bethesda has been talking about during development. Man, these last two were neck to neck and it was just very tough for me to choose. But at number two, I'm going with space exploration. I've always been fascinated by the idea of space and what's out there. Now we have the opportunity to fly through space and many star systems exploring and feeding our curiosity. The possibility of exploring abandoned ships or stations in deep space, dogfighting, boarding enemy ships, locating mysteries around planets or wherever they may be. I feel like the exploration will be so overwhelming when it comes to this game. The idea of also being in deep space 
and not a ship in sight will have me on the edge of my seat wondering if there is someone or something else out there that's close, watching, and I just don't know about it. It gets me so excited. Coming in at number one, the last topic on our list, the number one thing I am most hyped for about Starfield is the ship building. When Starfield was first announced back in 2018, I knew from that moment that it had to have shipbuilding in a space game. And if it didn't, it would have been a major disappointment. Luckily, there is, and it looks very in-depth throughout. I want this to be an overwhelming mechanic and features. Just like the exploration, I want everything in this to feel like there's too much going on. Because I want to take my time to learn how everything works, and I hope that there are so many options when it comes to shipbuilding that it will be hard to see the same ship as you play throughout Starfield. Creating a space that you can call your own and taking that with you throughout space with your own crew just gets me so excited. Just everything surrounded about this shipbuilding, your crew, everything that Bethesda has put together for it is just something that seems incredible and I can't wait to experience it. And I truly cannot wait for the release of Starfield. That was my list of things I'm most excited for in Starfield. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a like and subscribe. I can't wait to cover more content as Starfield releases. I've linked my Twitter account in the description. And also, let me know what you're most excited for in Starfield in the comment section down below. Until then, I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.